President Yoweri Museveni has warned traditional healers and herbalists against handling patients during times of epidemics like the current Ebola outbreak. While people may be using the traditional healers and the traditional healers may be accepting customers in normal times, I think we should put it in the law that when the government announces an epidemic, then the traditional healers should stop receiving customers in their, in their, in their, in their, in their clinics and wait for the all clear uh, to, to be uh, announced. The president was updating the country on the Ebola outbreak in a televised address. The president wants the public to quickly report any suspected Ebola cases to authorities for safe transportation to the health facilities. This disease is survivable. Because I, I, I was told by the, you know me, I, I, I like uh, interrogating uh, each situation. I was told that this, this disease kills mainly by high temperature. That high temperature, the body is not supposed to, to, to operate at, at high temperatures. So if you have got a very high temperature for a long time, then the organs are damaged. That's how it kills, I'm told. So I think what the doctors do when you go to hospital, they, they, they control the temperature. Uh -huh. Then it kills also by losing body fluids. Amazi okuguamu mumuviri by vomiting and diarrhea also. Uh -huh. Maybe sweating also. Uh -huh. So when you have those, you have high temperature, you have dehydration, what they call dehydration, losing the fluids, either through vomiting, through diarrhea, through uh, sweating, and they are not being replaced. I hear that that's what damages. Uh, is there anything else that damages the, the virus is also multiply? Let's hear the minister. Um, Excellency, eventually, because the fluid volume is low, the blood supply to the major organs is impaired, especially the kidneys and the liver. And then you go into hypovolemic shock. But because of low blood supply, the organs also get damaged. Mm. So the, the, the blood supply is, is improved by the fluids? Yes, Excellency. Uh -huh. So, so therefore, although the interventions in the in the hospital do not kill the virus directly, but by stopping the uh, lowering the temperature and by stop by replacing the the fluids you lose. It helps the body to remain able to fight, uh, and the body can fight and, and win. The Ebola virus disease was first declared in Movende district on the 20th of September 2022 and has now spread to other districts that include Chegegua, Kasanda, Kagadi, and Bunyangavu. However, there are districts that are categorized as very high risk. Category 1, very high risk. A, uh, Muvende, Kasanda, Tejewa, Kagadi, Punyangawu. Category 2, high risk. Not very high risk, but high risk. 20 districts surrounding Mbende plus Kampala and Wakiso. Kampala and Wakiso are included in this category because of population movement 
uh, trade and social services. As of 12 of October 2022, there are 54 total confirmed cases, 19 deaths and 20 recoveries, including five health workers. Joshua Kagoro, Adia Nakuti, UBC News.